Hello everyone and welcome to another Case Command Rules tutorial. Uh, before I start the tutorial today, I'd like to point out my new wallpaper that you can see right here. Um, I've noted right here for myself. Uh, this wallpaper is in 2048 by uh, 1152 and it is downloadable from my website. The link will be in the description. Or you can just go to my website and click on the link wallpaper in the sidebar to your right. And um, it's free to download for anyone if you want to support uh, Case of Man Rules tutorials. Um, I intend on having this up during my tutorials from now on. Uh, I made this all from scratch using the open source software GIMP, which I like a lot. Um, so go ahead and check this out if you want to support me. Go ahead and download that. I really appreciate it. Alright, today's tutorial is on my favorite Firefox add-ons, or a few that I'm going to feature. This is in honor of the new Firefox 3.5 release, which came out, I believe, yesterday. And um, I have to say that I like it a lot, and I decided that it would be interesting for you guys because I'm going to show you not only just my favorite add-ons, but add-ons that um, not everybody uses. So they're, you know, not like everyone uses them, everyone knows about them. So um, let's get on with it. Uh, the first one is Create Shortcut. This is the only add-on that I use and that you'll probably ever really use that's not actually on Mozilla's site. Don't ask me why they didn't put it on there, but it's not. So uh, this is uh, on this website right here, uh, pikey.me.uk. Um, for all the links, by the way, you can go to uh, the article on my website, which will be linked in the description. It'll have a complete list of all my add-ons, as well as links to the one featured here. It's just a little bit too much to fit in the sidebar. Um, so, Create Shortcut is a great one. Uh, just to install it, by the way, you just click on it and click Allow, and it'll do it like normal. Is It's fun because um, sometimes I'm browsing around and I find a website that I need to remember, but I don't want to use it right now or something like that, or I need to remember to do it later, but I don't want to go ahead and bookmark it because I might lose it in the bookmarks, blah, blah, blah. It's easier just to put a shortcut on the desktop. Now, you can create your own, but uh, that takes, you know, you have to go in and you have to know how to do it. Kind of a pain. So for this one, you just right-click, uh, actually, not the tab. Here it is right here, Create Shortcut, and just click on that, and it brings it up right here. And also, there's something in your um, tools menu that you can um, just create any one, but you do this, you can enter in the description and the URL, click OK, and now there's a shortcut to it on your desktop. And then when you click on it, it'll open it up in a new tab right there with that site. Something I use sometimes if I need to remember something, but don't want to use bookmarks, blah, blah, blah. Um, the next one is um, Favicon Picker. Uh, this one is a little bit more popular, but not everyone uses it. Um, mostly I use it because of the way I set up my uh, bookmarks up here. Um, I don't like to have the text by them, I just like the favicons right here, but, you know, sometimes when you get to uh, sites that don't have um, favicons like these right here, you can right-click them now with this add-on and click Properties, and down here you can browse for any add-on, uh, or not any add-on, any icon on your computer, and then set it as the um, custom icon, like I did this one right here. Not a very pretty one, but good enough. Kind of does what it does because it's made up. It's a JavaScript thing to make your page split screen. But I use that a lot. Pretty fun. Pretty easy. Um, next one is Fission. Um, if you've ever used Safari, you'll see that when a page loads, it loads uh, the status in the address bar. So if I load up my site real quick here, you'll see right here in a second. See how this goes across and loads right there, as opposed to down here or anything like that. Uh, so that's just a simple one that I like. Uh, kind of cleans up the browser a little bit. I think it looks nice. Next one, this has got to be probably my favorite add-on of all time. I don't know how I lived without it. I really honestly don't. This is called Save Session. And this I use this all the time. When I'm in the middle of a browsing session, but then I gotta go somewhere suddenly, I don't want to lose all my tabs, I just click uh, this right here and it'll automatically save my browsing session and exit Firefox. And then later when I click on it, it'll open them all back up. I know that Firefox has a built-in one kind of like that, but to be honest, it doesn't work as well and this one's just clean and quick and I, I just really, really like it. Makes it very nice. Um, so you can, I would definitely probably suggest that one over any of the other ones I'm going to show you here. Um, 
Zipper. I pronounce this Zipper. It's S X I P P R. That's how I pronounce it. Is Zipper. But um, this, if Safe Session is my favorite, this has got to be a close second. Um, this is an awesome password manager add-on that I just love. It makes everything so much easier. Like, let's say I want to um, log into Twitter. I go to Twitter's website. Takes me to log in here, and look at this. This is what pops up. Uh, it has my saved information right here. Also, it can support multiple accounts. Like, if I go to, if I want to log into my Gmail right here, I can open that up. And right here, you'll see pop up right here in a second. Right here, uh, I have multiple Gmail accounts. I have several, um, so it supports multiple accounts. So you can log in with whichever one you want. And the great thing about it is when you want to log in and this pops up, just click on it and it'll automatically enter the information and log in for you. It's really simple. It makes it so much everything, just so much better. Um, it's a great alternative to anything you'd have to pay for, like RoboForm or anything like that, or 1Password. It's, it's really great. Um, the final one that I want to feature today is Tiny Menu. Um, I use this one because I have a special way that I always have set up Firefox that I really like. Um, what I've always done is, it originally comes with three bars up here at the top. Your bookmarks on the bottom, in the middle of the address bar, and the search. And at the top it has your menu and anything else you have over here, like the loader or whatever. Um, I've always set it up so that I um, have two bars. So down here I have all my bookmarks, and up here I've moved all these buttons and the address bar into the top bar. But when you do that, it makes this um, address bar really small. And I like to have a long address bar, especially for copying URLs and stuff like that, which I use for my blog a lot. This makes things a lot easier. But see, when you have that and it makes the address bar really small, it's really annoying. So uh, what I've found is this tiny menu add-on creates this little button right here that says menu and it's a drop down menu of what your menu used to look like. It keeps things nice and compact and I think it's just much more neat and helps me accomplish the setup that I like. So uh, if you guys want to, you know, get more browsing real estate, more, you know, be able to view more things without having to scroll all the time, it's definitely something that you might want to get into. So um, that's all my featured add-ons. I obviously use a bunch more. I think I have about 30 active right now. I know that's a little bit of a lot, but you know I use those a lot. I have a bunch down here and stuff as well. So um, that's just about it. Um, by the way, just like to give a shout out to Mozilla, obviously, because they did a great job with uh, Firefox 3.5, and they've already gotten it was like 24 million downloads or something like that within the first 24 hours. Something like that. Quite a bit. I found it on Lifehacker, but it's it's a pretty cool thing. So thanks for watching this video tutorial by Queso Man Rules, and I'll see you next time.